Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Math with Mrs. Jackson. Today we are going to be doing chapter 4, lesson 5, add three numbers by making a 10. So the first thing we need to do is write our name and date. So if your name happens to be Berlin, you're going to write Berlin. If your name happens to be Gunner, you're going to write Gunner. If your name happens to be Oliver, you're going to write Oliver. But if your name is like mine, you're going to write Mrs. Jackson. And my date is 5-14-20. Okay, show three ways to find a sum. Okay, so we can do 4 plus 3 first. And 4 and 3 together is 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, 7. Oh, and then that makes it a double. So 7 plus 7, we know, is 14. Okay, so now we could do 4 and 7 first. So 7 plus 4. So I put 7 in my head. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that's 11. 11 and 3 more. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and the next way we could do it is 3 plus 7. And 3 and 7 is a way to make 10. You can also do it on your fingers. So 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. And 10 plus 4, we know is 14. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. And grow. Find two add-ins whose no sum is 10. Add those numbers first. So we have to know the ones that make 10. So if I look at my equation, I have 3 plus 7 plus 5. Well, I know 3 and 7 equals 10. 10 and 5, 15. Okay, now if I look Making 10 can help you add three numbers. It helps you add it a lot quicker. So 8 plus 4 plus 6. Well, I know 4 and 6 is one way I can make 10. Okay? And 10 plus 8 is 18. All right. Now, if we look at number 1, I know 9 and 1 more makes 10. And 10 plus 3 equals 13. So, you are going to do 10, 2, 3, and 4 on your own. I want you to figure out which two add-ins are going to equal 10, and then 10 and how many more. Okay? Um, so, push pause and then push play when you're ready. Okay, so now we're on the apply and grow practice. Make a 10 to add. So again, you're going to make 10 and then add more. So we know that 3 and 7 make 10. 10 plus 3, 13. If I look at these numbers, 6, 7, and 4, I know that 6 and 4 make 10. And 10 plus 7 equals 17. So I want you to do that for 6, 8, 9, and 10. And I'm going to just add your box down here. And it needs to make 10. So which two of these numbers are going to make 10? Which two of these numbers are going to make 10? And you're going to draw your line to it. Okay. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're ready. What do you know about the missing add-ins and the sum? I know that my sum is going to be 13 because it's 10 and 3 more. So I know my sum is 13. I know I can use um, any two add-ins that equal 10. 
So I could do 5 and 5 because I know 5 plus 5 equals 10. It doesn't have to be the only one. You might also choose Perhaps you're going to choose 4 and 6, or 0 and 10. Any two ways, any two numbers that equal 10 would work right here. Okay? Let's go ahead and move on. You need to knock down 20 pins to win. Do you win? And here's our pins. So we have six, three, and seven. Now I know that three and seven make ten. Ten and six more equals sixteen. Now is sixteen more or less than twenty? Very good, that's less, it's smaller than. So no, we did not knock enough pins down. We could also draw it. So one, two, three, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, plus six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six. And 10 plus 6 equals 16. Okay. Your hockey team needs 12 goals to break a record. Does your team break the record? So here's our goals that we made. We made 5 goals, we made 6 goals, we made 7 goals. I'm sorry, 4 goals. So 5 goals, 6 goals, 7 goals. Now I want you to figure out which two of those add-ins equal 10 and then how many all together. I want you to see if you do it, um, if you do break the goal or if you do break the record or if you do not break the record. And I want you to show your work. So just like how I did up here, I drew my pictures. I want to see you draw a picture to show me whether you guys break the record or not. So push pause and then push play when you're ready. Practice. Okay. So Newton says, find two add-ins whose sum is 10. Add those numbers first. So we have two and eight. We know that equals 10. 10 and three more is 13. Making a 10 help can help you add three numbers. That's what Descartes says. So if our numbers are six, nine, and one, we know nine plus one equals 10, and 10 and six is 16. Okay. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna model using number three. I know that eight and two equals 10. 10 plus 5 equals 15. I want you to do that for 1, 2, and 4. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're ready. And here's our last page. What do you know about the missing add-ins and the sum? I did this with you, this almost exact same problem. So I want you to do this one all on your own. I want you to pick two add-ins that equal 10 and tell me the sum. Okay. Your baseball team needs 15 runs to break a record. Does your team break the record? So let's see, we have six plus four plus six. Now I can see here where you might wanna use a double but since the goal of this is to do making 10, I want you to do six and four, make 10, and then show me what your um, hole is, 
or what your sum is. I want you to tell me if yes, we break the record or no, we don't. And show me how you know. So go ahead and draw your circles. Show it. Six and four makes ten. So ten circles plus six circles equals how many? Okay. And then on number seven and eight, it wants you to circle the heavier object. So you can do seven and eight all on your own. Circle the heavier objects. I love you, boys and girls.